ഓമ ജ്ഞാനതി മിരാന്തസ്യ ജ്ഞാനാഞ്ജന സലാഖയ സക്ഷൂർവുൻമിലിത്തം യേന തസ്മൈ ശ്രീ ഗുരവേ നമഃ നമോ ഓം വിഷ്ണുപാദായ രാധികായ പ്രിയാത്മനെ ശ്രീ ശ്രീമദ്ഭക്തി വേദാന്ത നാരായണ നാമിനെ നമോ ഓം വിഷ്ണുപാദായ കൃഷ്ണപ്രസ്ഥായ ഭൂതലെ ശ്രീമതെ ഭക്തി വേദാന്ത സ്വാമിൻ ഇതി നാമിനെ വാഞ്ചാകൽപാതരുചാ കൃപാ സിന്ധൂപ്യേവച്ച പതിതാനാം പാവനേപ്യോ വൈഷ്ണവേപ്യോ നമോ നമഃ ശ്രീകൃഷ്ണ ചൈതന്യ പ്രഭു നിത്യാനന്ദ ശ്രീ അദ്വൈത ഗദാധാർ ശ്രീവാസാദി ഗൗരഭക്തവൃന്ദ ഹരേ കൃഷ്ണ ഹരേ കൃഷ്ണ 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 ഹരേ 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 രാമോ ഹരേ രാമോ 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 ഹരേ ഹരേ So today, we have the fourth episode of the Holy Dhams 2021. In fact, the Karthik month ended just on, on this, the, the Thursday, two days back. However, as some devotees are going to join the Vrindavan Parikrama, we will continue covering some more classes, covering some more uh, holy places. But today, we plan to cover part one of Giri Govardhan. So, we have seen... Madhura and a small part of Vrindavan so far. Vrindavan has a lot, lot more places to see actually. And today we are actually going to see Govardhan. So Govardhan is actually situated about 14 miles south of Madhura. How holy is the Giri Govardhan? So we really covered that in, in, the, in the Harikathas. So there is a sloka that is actually in the, in the Upadesha Mirza it says, வைகுந்தா ஜனித்தோவரா மதுபூரி தத்தாபி ராசோத் பிருந்தாரணியம் உதாரபாணி ரமணா தத்ராபி கோவர்த்தனக ராதா குண்டம் இகாபி கோகுல பதே பிரேமாமிருதா பிளவ பிளவநாத் கூரியா தாசிய விராஜத்தோ கிரிதே சேவாம் விவேகி நக So what that means is the holy place of Madhura called Madhura is spiritually superior than even Vaikuntha because Lord Krishna appeared here. Lord Krishna from Goloka appeared here. So superior to Madhura Puri is a transcendental forest of Vrindavan because Krishna's Rasalila pastimes happened there. And even superior to the forest of Vrindavan is Govardhan Hill for it was raised by the divine hand of Sri Krishna and was the site of his various loving pastimes. So that's what we are going to, to, to see today, part one. And above all, the super excellent Sri Radha Kunda stands supreme. Because it is flooded, over flooded with the ambrosial nectarian prema of, of Lord Krishna. Hmm? For Lord Krishna. So, so we will cover that as we go. Okay? Now there are two legends as how Govardhan actually came to Braj. Each time Krishna descends to this earth for his Leelas, he also brings Grigovardhan, Yamuna and Vrindavan forest from Goloka. So it has origin in Goloka. And also he brings his, his cows, Kamadenu cows, and his servants, father, mother and so on. They, you know, he will bring everybody. But the way they appear on the earth differs in Yuga to Yuga. Every Yuga, there is a different way in Giri Govartan and Yamuna and all those, you know, they, they have come down. Even Radharani also, like the appearance of Radharani, we have different, different uh, 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 stories because that all happened in different Yugas. So according to one description happened in previous Yuga, is Govartan appeared as a son of Dronachala mountain. Once when Pulasya Muni from Kashi visited Throna, because Kashi is not the annihilated place. It's always that it is, it is, it, it, it don't be annihilated at all. So when that Kashi was there, from Kashi, Pulasya Muni went to Throna Chala and he saw the beautiful Govardhan. He was a son of Throna Chala. So he, he, he wanted to take him, to take this mountain. Because in Kashi there was no such place as, you know, for sadhana. No mountain, no lakes, no caves and so on. So he decided to ask Thronachala to take and take Govardhan. Those days the Munis were so powerful. They can carry mountains, 
drink an ocean like agastya muni drank the to drank the ocean and so on so now not able to re- refuse the request dronachala gave his son govardhan to pulasya muni govardhan was not happy he did not want to really really move so he really put a condition to pulasya muni saying if you put me down when you are carrying for any reason then i will not move from their place so but when pulasya muni said okay no problem i i am powerful i can easily take all the way and you know all the way to really kashi but then when pulasya muni was really coming around and he really came to bridge so when he came to bridge this govardhan wanted to stay there because that was destined so he became so heavy all of a sudden and pulasya muni could not carry that so he had to really keep it down and govardhan could not be lifted again pulasya rishi got so angry and cursed govardhan every day you will shrink by a size of a sesame seed like that he really put a curse on us and went but govardhan said so this happened in in alvar yuga but now in this yuga in adi purana we see another description of gri govardhan coming to bridge in treta yuga that is previous to the, this is kali yuga previously it was dwapara yuga and then pr- prior to that was the treta yuga where lord rama came and then he was building a bridge to go to lanka lord hanuman came to himalayas to bring rocks for building the the bridges bridge he actually picked up the beautiful govardhan mountain also but when hanuman was carrying an aerial voice said that was from lord ram that the bridge is already done so no more rocks or anything is necess- was necessary so hearing this hanuman became sad and he had to put down sri go giri raja govardhan you know on the way so that place happened to be braja because it was a destined so giri raja was also unhappy and said to hanuman you have deprived me of the touch of sri rama's lotus feet i would have gone there and he really put him there you know he will be walking over me but lord hanuman said no problem in the coming next dwapar yuga your desire will be fulfilled at that time the supreme lord krishna will stop the worship of indra and worship you instead so that is what we are actually now so when giri govardhan descended on earth it was the you know it, it was actually king of all the mountains and he was 8 miles high and 8 miles long and width so he so now he is singing under the earth one sesame seed size every day that's what they are saying but it is they say that it is a due to curse of pulasya muni but the fact is that he is ringing due to his feeling of separation from krishna so eventually he will completely really go under the under the ground and vanish so now we see only few meter that's like actually 80 feet that's what they say 80 feet of the top portion of the of the, the of the big mountain that we really had before so this means that it is deep about 6 8 miles down actually all the all the way down so now before we proceed to see the holy places around govardhan let us have a quick aerial look in a view of sri govardhan right so so you will see some of the places that i will be talking today not all of them so this is the this is structure it was built by by the gra- great grandson of uh, krishna actually later actually there are so many temples and so many places that it was really done by uh, bajra naba so he was the gr- great grandson of uh, dwaraka krishna 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 Hare Hare 
these are some of the kundas that we will be talking about what you see there right there is yeah so we will actually go over so some of the kundas and this this place is called manasi ganga so probably we will be covering that only next time because we may not have that much time for 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 today there are all holy places where so many past times leelas of krishna happened so many so many this is the the, the, the great radha kunda and shyama kunda which we will be covering as we go so actually radha kunda and shyama kunda are at the at the foot hills of uh, of of gri govardhan so okay so we will we'll carry on so govardhan is the dear most of lord krishna very dear most whenever lord krishna comes to the earth i say as i mentioned you know when he is coming from goloka for their leelas with radharani gopis gopas and everyone he always brings gri govardhan and yamuna everything first so another name for govardhan is haridasa so hari dasa hari is is lord krishna dasa means servant so he is a servant of krishna actually he is an amsa of krishna so that is what we have to really understand okay so giri govardhan is very important in the leelas of krishna as he supplies all the necessary things for krishna's past times hmm grass for the cows caves for you know for uh, uh, fountains lakes waterfalls beautiful trees flowers herbs and so on actually the top most holy place is the radha kunda as i mentioned it is just at the food hill of gover tari kaacha giri raja govardhan tari paada sri radha kunda yadu raja yamuna deepi ranam Okay, so, so, so in this uh, ashtakam that I wrote you know, long time back, this is specifically about the leelas. So here, Haridasa, and uh, you know, is mentioned as you know the uh, Govardhan is mentioned as Haridasa. And now going around Govardhan is called Govardhan Parikrama. All our acharyas and Goswamis. did govardhan parikrama every single day every single day so that is really amazing if we do one round of govardhan parikrama it is 21.5 kilometers so every day our our acharyas and goswamis were really doing 21.5 you know kilometer they are they were walking every day so when there are devotees doing parikrama by the paths that we will see we will also see seems like this you know there are a lot of lot of lot of devotees they will be doing you know parikrama back and here and some so you know many of them carrying even the milk you know milk they will be pouring milk there you know because like abhishek ha huh? so, so if you see that they will carry a pot where the milk will be dripping down okay they will put a small hole and they will be carrying what are they doing there we will be wonder why are they really spilling you know the, the you know milk on the way because they are doing abhishek on the on the outside of Uh, govardhan govardhan on govardhan we cannot climb only brajavasis can can climb we cannot even chaitanya mahaprabhu when we came look at he is krishna himself but he said no i am not you know i am not he was not born here as a brajavasi i cannot climb but those brajavasis who are born there are privileged privileged and they can climb okay so now what is this particular uh, you know devotee is doing here he is doing something called tandavad parikram parikrama you will see all, all the time when you really goes you know the, the, go around the the govardhan for the parikrama you will see you know we like this and what do they do what do they do he will do tandavad for every length of his body 108 times before moving to the next so each time moving a stone from from one you know prithi you say he will do tandavad and take a stone and then move it up move it up like that he will do yeah see again that was now okay another one so like that he will do 108 times that is the 108 stones he has and when he finishes 108 times then he will move the place 
only for his body length because that's what the tantavat pranam he did right he covered only that 108 times he would so he will move the all the pictures and everything uh, for his size, his length of the you know the height of the body and then again 108 times by the time they do the full parikrama like this remember 21.5 km right it will be many many months rain cold these and everything all they will they will all go through and what do they eat they barely eat because where is the time for cooking nothing see if you do like this you know what you will do right so they, they barely eat and whatever that you know devotees or anyone who really you know puts on the small dabba will be there you will see a small dabba where you can put some you know anything that you know the fruits or anything that you want to want to give that's what they will they will eat and they sit on the rain you know if it's raining and they will complete even gutters you know of course there are a lot of gutters water will be all the filth you know the, the dirty water we we call but i think in vrindavan there is nothing like a dirty everything is all all spiritual divine so they will even fall on that and then keep going what happens when they complete after months they will get the darshan of giri govardhan who gives all the benedictions anything they ask they will give you know he will give but what do they ask only one thing krishna bhakti you give me krishna bhakti krishna bhakti is not easy to get i will tell you because we may say yeah i like krishna i do, do this i do puja i do no that doesn't mean that you have krishna bhakti you may be doing for something for in favor for you that is not bhakti and then after that you know they they feel so ecstatic what do they do after that what will they do many of them will do start all over again go again another round and again kri raja give darshan and again another round. like that they will start most of the devotees as we really heard they never stop until they die there they will keep on doing it look at the devotion of the brajavasis so we shall start from the place usually when we really go they will actually drop you either in the, in the in the place called dan ghati which probably we may be able to cover that or this place called kushuma sarovara and work all the way around govardhan okay i really saw showed that right there is there is a there is a two sides eastern side and then a western side so we will be covering only some places not all okay so this is kushuma sarovara kush the place full of flower gardens this place used to be full of flower gardens and gopis and shrimati radha rani and they all used to come here to pick flowers and krishna had a wonderful past time here also okay so this is kusuma sarovara kusuma sarovara means is a is a is a lake with all flower garden you know flower trees that's what it is all the gardens and trees sarovara means means full of gardens kusum sarovara was constructed actually later in fact it was all all forest before forest like that right so king jawahar singh of bharatpur in the middle of 18th century in honor of, of his father raja suraj mal okay so so he actually constructed this this unique architecture it's a very 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 unique architecture however the actual kusuma sarovara was not like this it was of course we you know we don't have any picture i'm trying to make really to really show you to get to get some understanding it was all full of trees and gardens now they are all vanished only the pond the kusuma sarovara is now there so this is the place narada muni wrote narada panjaratra so there is a very great uh, scripture okay for gaudias narada panjaratra is very important because our worship the way we really worship krishna and also the way we we take initiation and the way we do the sadhana they are all as per this particular sastra called narada panjaratra he wrote that in his in his uh, in his uh, uh, what that the the Uh, samadhi you know like basically he was actually writing from it was actually actually coming on you know to him and then he, he wrote that happened this place 
So he wrote it in his so trance, trance. So Radha Rani and gopis regularly used to come here to pick flowers for the worship of sun god. Hey, why sun god? You may be wondering. Sun god appeared from the power of Radha Rani. Then why she is worshipping? All the power comes from her and for this world of course, if you don't have sun, uh, there is no life at all here. So, so she along with her Sakis all go to where? To worship sun god. There is a sun god. There, there is a temple. We will actually go through that also. She, she goes for two reasons actually. To actually give darshan to her devotee sun god, not to worship. Okay, this is very important to understand. Then second, this is the most important. That is actually probably the main reason she was going to meet Krishna there. So Krishna will come there disguised as a priest along with Madhu Mangal. And you know, that is a big pastime that I will be covering as we really go to that those those places as the as the sun, you know, the, the sun, sun god, uh, my temple and everything. So Radharani actually worshipped Krishna there, not the sun god. You have to be, you have to be because to trick his, uh, her, her uh, uh, mother-in-law, Jatila and also sister-in-law, Kutila and all those. So, 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 so that was the reason behind. Remember the whole Leela, how when they really came from Goloka was to really enjoy the, the rasa, Madhuri rasa. For Madhuri rasa, we need to have separation. So for that, Yoga Maya arranged in such a way, he made a shadow of Krishna and he was Abhimanyu. So Radharani and Krishna actually tried, they were actually trying to marry what? Yashoda and Nanda Baba, Brishabhanu, Kirtira, they are all trying to arrange marriage between Radharani and and Krishna and Yoga Maya came and they stopped it. No, it's not. It's, no, 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 no. You, you cannot do that. She said, no, that's not the way. So she told, you have to, you know, get, you know, <laughs> get her married to Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu is a shadow. Now what happens is because of the shadow, shadow cannot touch. You know, can shadow touch anyone? No, you cannot. So Abhimanyu cannot really touch Radharani. But even if, but he is a shadow of Krishna only. But then look at the way they really play the Madhuri Rasa is because Radharani thinks that, oh, you know, this is a, you know, this is not actually Krishna. I belong to Krishna. So this is what the whole Madhuri Leela happened because of the arrangement. But Krishna and Radharani, there is no difference. They are all same. Say for the Leela purpose, for us to become devotees and get attracted and enjoy this and, and then to, to go back to him. That was the reason they really enacted all those. So this is very important to understand. But anyway, so every day Radharani with her Sakis go to the Kushuma Sarovara. Once Krishna wanted to play a trick. Knowing that Radharani will be coming there to pick flowers, he climbed on a branch of a tree. It's, it, remember, it's, it was very, very dense. A branch of a tree that had so many attractive flowers. And he pushed that branch by, by his foot down so that the whole branch would lean down. And very soon Radharani was just coming there to pick, pick the flowers. And she saw, wow! This is so much of flower and it is low hanging. Wow, she was so happy and she really went there and you know then he she got hold of a branch because it's actually a tree, it's a tree. So she, she she got hold of a branch there and tried to reach the flowers and then she was actually trying to really, to really pick them up. So he really got hold of the branch and then she was really picking up. And Krishna, what did you what did Krishna did? All of a sudden, when she was holding the branch. He released the branch up. He really walked out, you know, he just stepped away and the branch went up along with Radharani. So Radharani was stuck hanging on the branches and was screaming, Oh, help, help, help. And Tricky Krishna, what did he do? He immediately jumped down from the, from the tree. All right, I am here to help you. This is Krishna. So that pastime, along with so many, so many happened there at this Kushima Sarovara. Okay. And now, also very next to Kushuma Sarovara, okay, it's about for some, some hundred meters or something or something like that, very, very nearby. 
is Narada Kunda. Okay, Kunda means lake, as you all know, sacred lake. After Narada Muni heard about the glories of Gopi Baba, he wanted to join and see the Rasa dance by entering into the Rasa dance as a Gopi. But even actually, he, he could not be successful. But anyway, but he wanted to join. So he received the Gopal Mantra from his father, Lord Brahma, he, he, who, who initiated. Uh, and he, so Lord Brahma, and he gave his mantra. And Narada Muni meditated and performed severe austerities at this place, Narada Kunda. After doing severe austerities for a long time, Yogamaya, Pavarnamasi came to this place. This is Yogamaya, not Mahamaya, not Durga. Durga is Mahamaya. Okay, this is Yogamaya. Yogamaya is what? Subhatra is Yogamaya in, in the Jagannath Puri temple. But anyway, so, so he took uh, Narada Muni and brought to Kusuma Saravara. And he just, you know, got hold of Narada and then dipped inside Kusuma Saravara and then took, took him out. And miraculously, Narada Muni now was a gopi. He got the form as a, as a gopi. Naradiya gopi. So, thus, he became qualified to serve the divine couple. But there is a limitation. Serving is different and also participating in the, in the Rasarara is totally different. Not everybody can do that. Even the Vanachari gopis. Who are the Vanachari gopis? When Lord, Lord Ram went to Thandagari of the forest, those rishis, 60, there were 60,000 or something, that's what many rishis were there. They all wanted to get Lord Rama as their husband. <laughs> so Lord Rama said, no, 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 it's not possible. But when Lord Krishna comes, hmm, that time you can actually have an association with, with Krishna. That or they are called Vanishari Gopis. They cannot dance with Krishna. They can only see. Right? They, that's all they, so there are different different levels of this, these gopis who can really participate or serve. So Narada Muni was now qualified to serve the divine couple. That's why Narada the gopi. So, so there is also a small temple. You, you, when you go, you will be actually going through the temple only to the, to the lake that you are actually seeing there. And there inside, you will see a deity, a beautiful deity of uh, Narada Muni with his veena, right, in his hand. So, it is very highly beneficial to visit Narada, this Narada Kunda. Now, the next one place, next one, my next place I want to cover is Ratna Simhasana. Okay, so I am not covering in the same order you will be seeing. Okay, I, I don't know how many places we will be able to see because uh, you need uh, you know months to really see, see all the places. Even one month Parikrama is not enough to see all the places, right? They can't see all, all of them. But at least by hearing this one, you will be at least, you know, in your mind, you are actually doing a Parikrama. So, this is situated near a black forest actually. This you there used to be a very beautiful throne at this place. Made how? Made from precious gems like diamonds, rubies and sapphires. So good. They really made it for only for Radharani. You may wonder that we made a drama about, you know, you know, Radharani sitting there and, you know, the, you know, Gopas, Gopis, you know, like they, they used to come and, okay, there is a, there is a lot of the thing that we did. Anyway, so this is the place there was a throne and Srimadhi Radharani, as being the queen of Braj, used to sit on this Ratna, Ratna Simhasana, surrounded by thousands of Gopis. In Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th canto, 34th chapter, and actually verses 25 to 32, they describe a pastime that happened at this place called Ratna Simhasana. One day, one, that was a full moon day actually, after that happened after the Shiva, Shiva Ratri. So, Srimati Radhika sat down on the Ratna Simhasana throne and then, you know, he was talking and then having a nice time with all the, all, all the gopis. And Krishna and Balaram with some gopas were all playing little far away, little far away, not too far away, but you know, nearby. At that time, a servant of Kuvera, see the thing is, whoever has money, they will get, what, pride. They, they cannot get, 
the devotion they will never get you know will be able to get krishna the money will conquer them okay so these kuvera's uh, servant who was actually like a cashier right they handle the money you know money means for them in the heaven not in the gola goloka there is no money in the heaven and these kuve uh, this sangachuda he is a servant of kuvera try to abduct radharani and the gopis they all in fear call krishna 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 and sri krishna who was playing nearby with balaram and the gopas heard it and ran to the call of the gopis with great speed and krishna just one shot and sangachuda will be in a big his fist and sangachuda will be finished that's it done and he rescued radharani and the gopis and also you will see on the top right that is a footprint of krishna where he really stung you know step, you know he really pressed the place there and he, you know he was actually you know the hitting chankachuda with his with his fist so also this chankachuda had a wonderful jewel on his forehead actually forehead here forehead krishna grabbed that took that jewel and gave it to balaram and balaram that oh this is, you should go to radharani but balaram will never in you know, a normally don't really go near with radharani that straight away so he said okay all right she you know he knows the danishta gopi so he he gave this to danishta gopi and to really all telling her to give it to radharani and it went you know reached the hands of radharani okay so in this ratnakunda the lake you see is the same place where the damaniya sangachuda carried of radharani he just he was he just pulling okay so but he was sitting in the in the in the throne there is also if you can see the left you know the left to top you will see something is this a rasasthali marked with a concrete circle and sri krishna would perform divine rasa dance with gopis here okay and the next one is paitha grama paitha grama it is actually a grama grama means village this is the village that is at the foot hill of govardhan paitha grama has a special significance for the gaudiya vaishnavas when krishna disappeared from the spring time rasa leela hmm that is a very very famous you know that's a that's a rasa leela he all of a sudden disappeared and he went inside the forest that's a big story behind and he was sitting in a hidden place he really wanted to hide himself and the gopis were shocked and then they were just crying and crying and they were searching for him everywhere uh, that is basically the gopi gita so the whole gopi gita you see in srimad bhagavatam right so that is actually the uh, there is the crying of of the of the gopis missing krishna जयति जयति कम जन्म ना ब्रज लाइक दैट इट गोस ओके देयर आर नाउ व्हेन सम गोपीज वर सर्चिंग फॉर कृष्णा दे एक्चुअली केम नियर टू कृष्णा हु वाज हाइडिंग बट कृष्णा वांटेड टू यू नो हाइड हिमसेल्फ कंसील हिज आइडेंटिटी सो ही अस्यूम्ड ए फोर आर्म्ड नारायण कोम व्हाई बिकॉज़ ही इज ही Lord Narayana came from Krishna. Krishna is Swayam Bhagavan, and his Amsa, his expansion, right, is Balaram, and from Balaram comes four ch- ch- Chadur, Chadur Vyaha. You know, like four, four uh, quadruple expansion, and the first expansion was the Deva Sankarshana, Anuruddha, Pratimna. Then the carbon copy comes, and there is again Vasu Deva. That Vasu Deva is Lord Narayana, who is the Lord of Vaikunda. So Krishna can assume any of his expansion. so he just immediately took four arms narayana form why because he knew that gopis will not come to him because that okay that particular instance that happened at this particular place only okay so so the, that's why this called paitha grama paitha the grama means basically paitha means you know like a hand is singing inside or something okay will uh, i will go ahead what, what happened so at that time this this places are of dense forest of course when the gopi saw Na- lord narayana they simply what did they do they simply oh lord narayan okay they gave these their obisans prayer 
Yes. And also they asked, do you know where Krishna went? And then Lord Narayana was showing, oh yeah, you know, he has four, arm, four hands, right? One hand was saying this way he went, other one was saying, no, this way he went. And the other two one was saying that and that four direction he was showing. And the gopis got confused and then they really went away. Here you should know that Lord Narayana has no Madhurya relation with the gopis. No, no, only Lakshmi. So gopis are not at all attracted to Lord Narayana or his form. For them, Lord Narayana is just worshipable. That's all. This is very important to understand. Gopis do not come from Vaikunda, period. They come from Goloka. So, they all continued on their way searching for Krishna. But later when Radharani came, when Radharani came, oh, he saw Lord Narayana. Oh, then he was, but the problem is, he was seeing that oh, somebody is sitting there and when she was approaching and Krishna also in the form of Lord Narayana also saw Radharani and you know what happened? He, because remember when, Radhar, when he sees Radharani he's, you know, he's controlled by Radharani. That's it. Right? I really covered that also in so many places. Right? So Krishna was unable to maintain his four-armed Narayana form. And these two armed, that two arms entered into his body. Basically, it's vanished. That is called the meaning of Paitha Gaya. Paitha Gaya means it's vanished, gone. So he, he, he showed his original Swarupa. Okay, so that is why this place is called Paitha Grama. Okay, and he then met with Radharani, of course. You know, then of, of course, then as you know, he became ever fresh, youthful cowherd boy again. Uh, who is expert in dancer and holding up, you know, all the flute. So they all then, then basically, uh, you know, they returned and, you know, that's a story. If you see the Gopi Gita and, you know, in Srimad Bhagavatam, you will see that now. So we can see the supremacy of Radharani. Sri Jayadeva Goswami in Gita Govinda, he has described it very nicely. So now, also you all know about the Govardhan Puja. Done by the Brajavasis and enacted by our Gopur children also on the on every year we, we we used to have that as a tradition to really to really do this uh, this uh, Govardhan Puja as the Brajavasis did. Anyway, I am not going to really, really play the whole thing anyway. So this is only the glimpse to really really say about one word called Anyora. Okay, Anyora. Okay. So so the Brajavasis used to worship Lord Indra every year. But Lord Krishna tricked them and diverted their puja to Govardhan. That all you know. When they performed the Govardhan puja, Krishna assumed the form of Hari Deva and appeared and accepted their offerings. But at the end, he wanted to have more offering, more. So they what was the thing? Your offerings. However, However, this food is not enough for me. For me. I am, I am still, still hungry. hungry. I want, I want more. more. Bring, Bring me more. Anyora. Anyora. Oh, Giri Raja, this is all we brought for you. Please accept and be satisfied. Okay, so you heard the voice Anyora. So this Anyora gone is a, this place in the foothills of Govardhan. When we go to Parikrama, this place you can actually see that. And this is exactly where that all the other Brajavasis carried all their, their offerings and offered to Giri Govardhan and Krishna. In fact, Giri Govardhan is also, Giri Govardhan is a Harisasa. So, so Krishna appeared as Haridheva and accepted all the, all their offerings there. Right? So, this place is, that is why it is called Anyora Gaon. Gaon means village again. So, based on the voice from Grigovardhan, who was asking for more, Anyora means more, more, I want more, I want more, give me more. So, then we, we go for Brindavan, uh, whenever we go for Brindavan Parikrama with our Gurudev, this is the place that he will take us. And that day, we carry so much of sweets and fruits and everything on baskets, as you see on the picture. And our Gurudev used to take all of them and then offer to Grigovardhan. 
Okay, so this is the place. It's called and you are a god. And as I mentioned, Harideva is a form of Krishna when he was he manifested to accept the offerings. So when Brajabas is worshipped Govardhan, it was actually Lord Krishna himself appeared and accepted the offerings. That form is being worshipped as Harideva. This Harideva is the presiding deity of Giri Raja Govardhana. This Govardhana area, this Harideva is the presiding deity of Govardhana. So Krishna who lifted Govardhan is Giridari. And Giri Raja Govardhan is his second form. So actually Krishna held Giri Govardhana, which is his second form, Giri Raja, on his palm, on his pinky. In fact, in fact, left pinky, you know, left pinky that what? It's only a fingernail. Uh, the whole Giri Raja was on, on there. They just touch of the of the of the uh, what fingernail. That Harida Haridava. In, is in this temple. There is a deity which you are seeing on the right side. That is the same deity we, we will see. Okay. So this temple is actually very near to Radha Kunda also. And this is Govinda Kunda that you see at right. And also see the Giri Govardhan very next to the Kunda. Okay. See. See on the on the left side there is a Kunda is there. This Kunda is called Govinda Kunda. I am going to, going to tell the story why it is called Govinda Kunda. And this is at the at, uh, in the foothills of Giri Govardhan that you really see right there. Okay, on the on the left side on the picture. You all know the story of Krishna lifting Govardhan hill. Why to protect the Brajavasis from the anger of Lord Indra? Because Krishna diverted <laughs> Indra Puja to worship Giri Govardhan instead. So Lord Indra determined to punish and destroy Brindavan when he heard the news from. Narada Muni and he flooded Brindavan and Krishna took all the Prajavasis to you know and then you know to took them to, to Giri Govardhan and he lifted the Giri Govardhan up there and he then all the Prajavasis with you know all the Gopas, Gopis and all the all the motherly Gopis and Gopas, you know, servant, these mother, father. Everybody, all the cows and calves, everybody that went inside and they were protected. So he was holding from with his left pinky finger. <coughs> so Krishna was holding Greek over them for seven days and seven nights. In fact, miraculously, also at that time, Krishna was exactly seven years old. So, you know, seven years, seven months and seven days old. At the end, Indra accepted his defeat. Oh, he is the Lord. What a mistake. What a blunder that I have really made. So, he had to come down and beg Krishna for forgiveness. But out of shame, Indra did not want to go to Krishna by himself. Instead, he requested Surabhika from the heaven. Okay, so there are two, two, two things again. The Surabi cow, also called Kamadenu, they are actually originally from Goloka, but they are also available in in, uh, in heaven also they have. So the Surabi cow came from heaven. Why, why Indra is, is in, <laughs> you know, in heaven. Indra is not in Goloka, no, he cannot go there. Okay, so he is in the, in the not in the spiritual dimension, he is in the material platform actually. So Indra, Lord Indra said, oh, now if I go alone, he is going to go to finish me. <laughs> I am, I will be dead. So he went to the Surabi cow in the heaven, in his own heaven and begged, oh Surabi cow, please come with me. And otherwise Krishna is going to be really punish me. This is very, very bad thing what I did. Why cow? Because he knows Krishna loves cows, right? Yeah. So he, he thought that going with, with, with Surabi cow will reduce his anger. So, so Indra was actually walking behind the Surabi cow. So he let the Surabi cow go for front towards Krishna. And he was going at the, at the back hiding, back of the Surabi cow. Then Surabi cow really talked to Indra, you know, sorry, Krishna. 
to really asking him to really forgive you know he is he just made a big, big mistake please forgive etc and krishna came you know just uh, became pacified and when surabika talked to krishna to to excuse indra then indra came out <laughs> and by the from the milk of the surabika and this lord indra gave a big abhishek abhishek to lord krishna and from the milk of the surabika and also he offered special prayers to krishna you can actually read that in srimad bhagavatam of course okay and indra also gave the name govinda to krishna here so from that time only govinda the name govinda came and all the abhishek the waters the all the abhishek that lord indra was really doing for krishna they are all were flowing out and they are all getting accumulated in a in a place nearby and that place is the pond now called govinda kunda so this same govinda kunda is at the foot hill of govardhan so when we go go around govardhan you will be tired actually but we have to make sure that we see at least whatever we can also nearby is another kunda called surabi kunda see surabi kunda oh how that when surabi ka of course came as i mentioned came and then met lord krishna it was made it, it was mesmerized to see lord krishna and it was a very big very good chance because the whole leela of this grigover the lifting and uh, indra getting in you know, all uh, all kinds of things are leela for his leela so surabi ka came and she she said i am not going to go back to heaven until until lord krishna is going to stay here performing this cow herding past time why cow herding past time because she is also a cow <laughs> so she so she decided to stay there instead of returning back to heaven and she resided there this place this place where the lake is there until krishna returned back to goloka the surabi cow also called kamadenu right is also kamadenu is the mother of all the cows so killing a cow means killing the child of this divine kamadenu surabi cow what a big big aparad big sin that people who eat meat are committing anyway they will get punished by yamaraj that is her, his job surabi cow stayed at the same same place until krishna left to goloka as i said later okay maharaj bajra bajra naba who is bajra naba he is a grand a great grandson of dwaraka krishna not grandson great grandson for pata poop put what is it called puta or something but yeah he is father so he established this kunda in the memory of this surabi who was staying here until that krishna's past time was over so surabi kunda is very forgiving surabi as a cow look at her very gentle because cow is also one of the seven mothers right mother earth one's own mother and also the the wife of guru like that we have seven mothers there and this cow is also a mother and this surabi kunda is very forgiving because surabi is very gentle and forgiving by bathing and performing achavana here all of all ones all the sins and offenses and unwanted desires people nowadays are crazy crazy for for nothing this this all the material thing they are really really crazy for and they are all called anarthas and you will be relieved from that kind of tendency to really you know to to really desire these material things which you cannot even take it with you anyway so and he will give krishna braja prema so this is a unique place and this is brahma kunda you all may know the story of brahma vimohana where lord brahma stole the cows and gopas from krishna we also made a drama on this called brahma vimohana after the incident where lord brahma stole 
these cogs and the kopas of Sri Krishna. Then he found out. When he really came here to see what is Krishna is doing now, but he saw all the all the cogs and kopas, everybody they're all they are playing as if nothing happened. He was shocked. Then he realized, oh, what a blunder again I made. This is too bad. I wanted to test Krishna, whether he is a Swayam Bhagavan or not. Oh, now what can I do? What can I do? So then, Lord Brahma lamented for his grave mistake and wanted to beg Krishna for forgiveness. But he was hesitating. He was, he was actually waiting for a moment where Krishna will be all right. Remember, you know, when you really want to get some favor, you have to be careful to really see, you know, that person who is, from whom you need a favor is happy. Suppose, you know, a child wants to really get something from his father, dad, and, you know, he cannot, he will be waiting for the time whether his father is happy. That time he will go and ask, hey, I want a bicycle. I want this. And otherwise, what happened? Go ahead. I am having this problem, that problem. Get out. You know, so... So he was waiting for a, for a good moment and finally that happened and Lord Brahma came here at this place. That was the time when Lord Krishna was herding cows hmm, at that time. And he fell at the feet of, the, of Lord Krishna asking for forgiveness for his offense of stealing the cows and the cow herd boys. And in fact, this is the same Lord Brahma Later came in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela as who? Haridas Thakur, Namacharya. And he was the one who was beaten by, beaten in 22 marketplaces by the Muslims. Why? Because Lord, Lord Brahma wanted again to really, wanted him to be punished. That was why he came like that. Because he said, oh, I made a blunder mistake. I had, I had to be, I had to be, I have to be punished. So that was what happened there. Anyway, so that's a, that is a Leela of Chai, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that we, we are not going to cover now, but there will be timing coming there. So Lord Brahma, here, this is the place, after he, he, saw, he fell at the lotus feet of Krishna and begging for forgiveness. You will see that in Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a separate chapter actually. It's beautiful. His prayers were just, he was uttering prayer. Who is Lord Brahma? Who is the, who is the creator God? Who is the one who really made these, all the, all these, our, our Brahmanda? Making these and making that, all the things are only Brahma, Lord Brahma. So Lord Brahma is actually our, our Guru. So Lord Brahma here also performed Abhisheka to Lord Krishna and glorified him with mantras from Samaveda. So you will see the prayers in Srimad Bhagavatam. The holy water from his Abhisheka given to Lord Krishna became Brahma Kunda. And Brahmaji then bathed, bathed in it along with many other, other demigods also. So what you see in, at the left was old Brahma Kunda and at the right what you see is the renovated kunda, the same kunda re renovated recently. They put in the, in the middle, there is actually a, a Brahma, Lord Brahma, uh, you know, sitting on the, uh, on the lotus as, uh, as you can see. Okay, so now, next one, I, I don't think that I will be able to cover everything. I will just start it, then we will catch up in the next class. This place is called Dan Gati. Dan means giving something. Gati is basically a place. Again, Ghat. We see Ghat, the Gati. If this is situated in the middle of Govardhana. That doesn't mean that we have come off the way of Brinda. I really skipped a lot of lot of things because we cannot cover all, all those. So Dan Gati is a unique place situated in the middle of the Parikrama. Okay? So some devotees actually start the parikrama from this place and go around and come back here and complete it. Right? And we started with Kusumasarovala. You, you, you heard the stories and everything. So also this place 
is a very good place to have something to eat. There are a lot of play things you know you can actually get to. kachoris and these and that and so many so many sweet so many thing they make and full of that kind of you can have a very nice prasa you know food or whatever you know the and then then you can actually start the start the parikrama there are some certain places where you can actually have something to eat and on the way on the road you will have so many so many things you know, you know mangoes will be coming and you know mangoes and carrots and there are there is also a very special vegetable that grows on the on the lake it's only available there it is so sweet wait actually you know when we go to parikrama i will i will show you you know hopefully we will have will be able to see that also throughout and and koyawa and then these and i have so many all the fruits you can basically when you are doing parikrama the 21.5 km you can keep on eating and eating and then you know chanting and chanting like that you go it's a very wonderful way of spending the time and the time we are going is also very nice nice to walk not hot not too too cold it will be very nice in fact very first time when we really went to went to the brindavan parikrama this is the place very nearby where we stayed in fact so inside this temple i think i have a photo somewhere i took but the thing is i don't know whether maybe photos are not allowed or something maybe i don't know i may be having a photo i have so much of photos to see i last track of there is inside the temple there is a old tree now it's dead actually it is the same tree that was 5000 years ago where lord krishna used to stand under and demand tax from the gopis and very near to this place is giridhari gaudiyamath that is a, you know one of the temples by our our gurudev and we once stayed very near at a, at a walking distance in fact this was that was our first very first trip to vrindavan so with that i think okay so maybe uh, yeah okay with we'll one more slide so gurudev used to come you know whenever we are actually walking he used to come you know then and there you know you know he will take it uh, to, to, uh, to uh, uh, what the, the the rickshaw or something or whatever or or the what is called the uh, anyway uh, yeah what yeah okay so he used to come there you know he's he's very very you know he, you, you won't believe yeah he really comes there and uh, then he gives a nice harikatha and what happens is he usually talks in hindi for hindi my god his hindi is amazing he will pierce your heart but unfortunately in the south india especially this karnataka government or something came and then killed hindi and they really killed all the devotion also finished what devotion we have in tamil nadu nothing see this is the thing but anyway so i will be talking in tamil whatever when we really take them you know to take you all there and when uh, our gurudev used to talk in hindi there will be so many translators you know russia and these and that so many so many language english that the german dutch and all that they will be all translating they will be having different channels okay so <coughs> we used to have let us say maybe some 15 20 channels in different different languages and as he he talks they will be translating that's why when gurudev is talking you may also see some cross talks that is the, 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 they are translating and then you know on the thing then they will put a small uh, you know the uh, earphone and then keep you know keep listening to the the harikatha like that in their own language this is oh my god gurudev used to be a perfect organizer perfect organizer amazing when the time you know say 5 o'clock harikatha means sharply 5 o'clock you will be there absolutely not i mean i'm amazing he is very organized and of course who is that who is ramana manjari coming he is a radharani is associate sakhi we really covered that anyway so here he is giving harikatha and i have to stop here because it's exactly 11 o'clock i pray to my gurudev for giving this opportunity vanja kalpa saruchecha krupa sindhu pevacha padita nam bhavane pyo vaishnave pyo namo namo hare krishna thank you